We're never going to stop exploring the unknown in air and space. No, we have rejuvenated our lunar space program right around the time when China says mm. that's what they want to do. Beijing, you bought. For decades, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, has reigned as the unrivaled champion of space exploration. Yet, as the situation in space changes and countries aim for more ambitious goals, a strong competitor has appeared, China's rapidly growing space program. The U.S. is working hard to get back to the moon by 2025 with the Artemis space mission. But America has some major competition brewing on the other side of the world. China is right behind. Armed with aggressive timelines, strategic investments, and an insatiable appetite for innovation, China's space endeavors have propelled it into the forefront of the race to space. The nation's remarkable successes, like landing rovers on the hidden part of the moon and building a growing space station, have caught the world's attention and clearly show that China wants to be a leader in space exploration, challenging the long reign of the U.S. The National Space Station is going down, Chinese Space Station is going up. In today's episode, we will cover how China's space program is better than NASA in several aspects. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content like this, consider subscribing. The Chinese space program has gained a reputation for setting ambitious goals and accomplishing them within remarkably short timeframes. One notable example is the Chinese Lunar Exploration Program, commonly known as the Chang Program. Since its inception in the early 2000s, China has successfully launched a series of lunar missions, including orbiters, landers, and rovers, culminating in the historic landing of the Chang'e 4 rover on the far side of the moon in 2019. With China's Chang'e 4 mission on the far side of the moon after the first ever soft landing there earlier this month. This swift progress demonstrates China's capability to design, develop, and execute complex missions efficient. In contrast, NASA's space missions often encounter delays and budgetary constraints, leading to extended timelines. faced multiple setbacks and cost overruns, pushing its launch to late 2021, while NASA's meticulous approach ensures safety and reliability. It's going to allow us to understand every phase of cosmic history for the last 13 and a half billion years. China's ability to expedite its mission showcases its agility and determination. Unlike many other space agencies, China has demonstrated a knack for establishing challenging objectives and consistently meeting or even surpassing them in record time. This proficiency in achieving project goals within aggressive timelines is a testament to the efficiency and dedication of China's space scientists, engineers, and the entire workforce involved. China's approach to mission development is marked by its ability to streamline processes, reduce bureaucratic obstacles, and execute complex projects rapidly. This speed is particularly evident in the development of spacecraft, launch vehicles, and associated technologies. China's focus on efficiency and optimization has allowed it to conceive, design, test, and launch missions within remarkably compressed timeframes. The Chinese space program is characterized by its dynamic approach to innovation and iteration. Rather than adhering to conventional development cycles, China's space scientists and engineers embrace a culture of swift iteration and adaptability. This approach facilitates the rapid integration of emerging technologies and scientific insights, leading to quicker progress in various areas of space exploration. China's ability to navigate and overcome challenges in real time is a hallmark of its space program's rapid progress. When faced with technical setbacks or unforeseen obstacles, China's space teams demonstrate agility in re-evaluating strategies, implementing changes, and swiftly getting back on track. This proactive problem-solving approach contributes to maintaining aggressive timelines and ensuring consistent advancement. China's emphasis on targeted resource allocation is a driving force behind its rapid progress. By strategically investing resources in critical areas of research, development, and execution, China optimizes its efforts to achieve tangible outcomes within compressed timeframes. This focused allocation of resources enables the nation's space program to achieve its objectives efficiently and expediently. The Chinese space program places a strong emphasis on learning from each mission and utilizing those lessons to enhance subsequent endeavors. This culture of continuous improvement ensures that mistakes are minimized, efficiency is maximized, 
and each mission contributes to an ongoing trajectory of rapid progress. Such an approach not only accelerates the pace of achievement, but also facilitates sustained advancements over time. This program is a huge source of national pride, and China has invested billions into it. China runs one of only two places that humans can live in orbit, the Tiangong Space Station. China's commitment to space exploration goes beyond its ambitious missions and scientific achievements. It is underpinned by a robust and strategic investment in space infrastructure. This investment has enabled China's space program to establish itself as a formidable player on the global stage with a comprehensive suite of resources and capabilities that facilitate its ambitious goals. One of the cornerstones of China's investment in space infrastructure is the development of a versatile and reliable launch vehicle fleet. The launch Long March series of rockets, developed by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation (CASC), exemplifies this commitment. These rockets encompass a wide range of capabilities, from launching satellites into low Earth orbit to propelling crewed missions and interplanetary probes. China's consistent investment in advancing launch vehicle technology has not only enhanced its self-reliance in accessing space, but has also positioned it as a competitive option for satellite launches on the international market. In parallel, China has been dedicated to constructing modern and technologically advanced spaceports. These facilities serve as vital launch and landing hubs for various missions. The Wenching Spacecraft Launch Site, situated on Hainan Island, is a prime example. Equipped with facilities to support both crewed and uncrewed missions, Wen Chang showcases China's commitment to creating infrastructure that accommodates a diverse range of space activities. Moreover, China has made significant strides in developing ground-based space infrastructure to support satellite communication, Earth observation, and scientific research. The construction of advanced ground stations and tracking facilities has bolstered the nation's ability to monitor and communicate with its spacecraft, both in Earth's orbit and on interplanetary missions. This investment has led to improved data transmission, remote sensing capabilities, and a stronger foundation for deep space exploration. China's commitment to space infrastructure extends to its human spaceflight endeavors as well. The Tiangong Space Station, currently under further expansion, exemplifies China's dedication to establishing a sustainable human presence in space. Comprising even more modules than currently, the space station will serve as a platform for scientific research, technology development, and international collaboration. China's investment in the space station reflects its intention to be a central player in the next era of human space exploration. Furthermore, China has invested in research and development facilities that foster innovation and technological advancement. These facilities support a wide array of disciplines, from spacecraft design and manufacturing to propulsion systems and material science. By nurturing a thriving research environment, China ensures that its space program remains at the forefront of cutting-edge technology, which is crucial for maintaining a competitive edge in space exploration. Public engagement is a crucial aspect of any space program as it bridges the gap between scientific advancements and the general public's understanding. If you've been following the news lately, you have probably seen a lot of talk about the Artemis launch and NASA's moon mission. But if you are following space news, you might also have seen a lot of news about China's space station and the Taikonauts returning to Earth. And appreciation of these achievements, China's space program has recognized the significance of public engagement and has effectively harnessed as a tool to inspire, educate, and unite its citizens, while also utilizing its burgeoning commercial space sector to enhance its outreach efforts. China's space agency, the China National Space Administration, CNSA, has taken proactive steps to engage the public and create a sense of national pride through its space achievements. The successful landing of the rover Zhurong on Mars, for example, was met with widespread enthusiasm and celebration across the country. Live broadcasts, press releases, and social media updates disseminated by the CNSA during critical mission phases have effectively drawn the public's attention and participation, fostering a shared sense of excitement and accomplishment. One of the remarkable strategies employed by China's space program is its integration of commercial companies to bolster public engagement. China's growing commercial space sector has provided a unique avenue to involve private entities in space activities, promoting a broader sense of ownership and involvement. This collaboration not only fuels economic growth, but also strengthens 
strengthens public interest by showcasing the contributions of various sectors to the nation's space endeavors. China's commercial space companies, such as iSpace, OnSpace, and LandSpace, have played pivotal roles in advancing the nation's space capabilities. Their involvement in launch services, satellite deployment, and other space-related activities has garnered attention and support from the public. By engaging these companies, China's space program is able to leverage their innovations and successes as inspiring examples of entrepreneurship and technological prowess. The importance of engaging the public in China's space program extends beyond mere enthusiasm. It fosters a sense of national identity and unity, aligning citizens with the nation's scientific and technological achievements. This engagement can have a cascading effect on educational institutions, inspiring young minds to pursue careers in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics fields and driving a new generation of scientists and engineers. Furthermore, public engagement serves as a bridge between the abstract world of space exploration and tangible benefits for society. By effectively communicating how space research contributes to practical applications such as satellite-based navigation, weather forecasting, and disaster management, China's space program underscores its relevance to everyday life. This connection helps dispel misconceptions that space exploration is distant and irrelevant. Demonstrate its real-world impact, with much about how China's space program is better than NASA in several aspects covered. It is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below, and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we will see you in the next one.